Welcome back to another episode of Casey Campbell's High School Football Preview. Joining us right now is Declan Bile of Detroit Catholic Central. Declan, how are you, man? Good. How are you? You know, hanging in there. Um, what have the past What have the past few months been like for you as uh, as you try to navigate this? As you try to navigate COVID. Uh, I think it's been difficult for everyone. You know, everybody has their different things. Um, I tried to look at some of the positives of it. Um, I got to spend a lot of time with my family. And everything. Um, our coaches and captains did a super good job of, you know, keeping us talking and everything like that. You know, like our captains especially um, kept, like, we have group chats and we had, we had like, movie nights and everything like that through Zoom and everything. And I, I um, but it's been, we, we, we made the best of it. Yeah. Um, you got, I rem let's go back to when people really started to get to know you. Um, the Brother Rice game. Mm -hmm. um, I remember finding out, I think I went on the field and found out that they're changing. I heard that they're changing quarterbacks. I go, what? And yeah. uh, that's when you got your chance. Uh, what was your reaction when you finally found out that you were going to get in there? Um, obviously, I mean, I was just thankful. I was waiting for an opportunity. Um, my freshman season, Marco Genrich, when he got hurt and, um, they were, they were, they were thin at the quarterback position. So they moved me up that year. And it was, it was, it was a good learning experience because I got to learn from older guys and I got to understand what varsity football was like, but I didn't get a lot of playing time, which is a little bit unfortunate. And then to be on varsity my sophomore year and not to play the first four or five games, whatever it was. That wasn't, that wasn't great. I mean, it was, I was, it was, it was, it is what it was. I kept working hard and I knew the opportunity would come, you know, so I just kept my head down, kept working and it, the opportunity came and um, that's where we're at now. Yeah. You know, I, I see that young go-getters uh, sweatshirt on. So uh, what that means, it's part of Devin Gardner's quarterback. Of course, the former Michigan quarterback has got a network of athletes that he works yeah. with what's that been like uh Devin's awesome um you know him Nick, not even just quarterbacks and he does receivers and everybody but in, a lot of what he does is the mental part of it and not even just like x's and o's mental part of it but just mental toughness and how to carry yourself and everything like that um it's it's not replicated and then when you go to like quarterback stuff like his drills and it's so so game speed you know a lot of guys will do a lot of good like they're good drills and like on mechanics or anything like that but um Devin really preaches game speed game reps and that always shows up in the game like we'll go through some drills and you might think like oh that drill's crazy what's he doing but then when you get to the season and the same thing happens in the game but you've already been through it like a thousand times it's like it's natural and he's awesome and I think I think it's shown like quarterbacks that that work out with them I mean they've been exceptional you know um you know something very rare happened last year at Catholic Central they missed the playoffs yeah um that doesn't usually happen at CC it happened right. last year it hasn't happened since 2014 what was how tough was last year for you I know there was some also some good moments as well. Yeah, it was it was an up and down season and obviously we didn't get the the end result that we wanted every year we go into the season and a state championship's the expectation and that we came up short last year and but it's to me as an underclassman I was a sophomore and I got some experience I kind of take the positives from that as well. Um we're, we were a young team, right? And we're going to be young this year, too. And I think it's just really good to learn from it. Uh, we know what it's like to lose to some good teams. And we know what it's like to see some good teams. So I think that's going to help us in the future for this year and year, years to come. Uh, and obviously, it's not – you didn't want it, but I think in, in, the, in the end run, it might be decent for my class and the class ahead of me. Yeah. Um, it's been the hardest part about, you know, quarantine. Um, 
probably the hardest part, like, football-wise is just not being able to see everybody. Not even just football-wise, just, like, just seeing everybody, you know, like, especially, like, at CC, you know, how they preach the brotherhood and everything like that. And, you know, a lot of people will be like, oh, yeah, whatever. But, you know, you don't, you don't really – you don't understand until you experience it. So not seeing everybody every day and, you know, not being able to spend time with your boys and everything, like, that sucks. But, you know, I – I, I don't have a lot to complain about. You know, my family's, my family's healthy. Um, we're, we stayed safe and we, I mean, did what we could, but yeah. Yeah. Um, what's the most entertaining thing you did during this? Most entertaining. Man. Um, well, that's, that's a hard question. Cause you know, there's not a lot, you know, I'm, I'm a big sports guy. So, I was usually, you know, every free time I had weekends and everything, I was watching sports, something, but, oh, my phone. Um, so that was tough not having that, but, I, I mean, the Jordan documentary, that gave, that, that uh, took some time, so probably that might have been the biggest thing. And, you know, school, CC kept us, they kept us working, so, you know, there was, there was downtime for sure, but not as much as you'd think. Yeah. Um, how do you mentally prepare for a game? Um, I, you know, I kind of figured that out last season. Um, it was different for me, uh, especially the first game I started because I didn't know I was starting that game until the day before. So like I was, we were competing through that week, but I didn't know for sure that I was going to start. So I kind of started to figure that out. Um, and then it was even different. Every game day experience I had was different last year because we played River Rouge on a Friday last year, but it was a Friday where we didn't have school. And so, like, I had a little bit of different routine because I only started four games. But through the week, like, our coaches do a good job of making sure we know what we're doing. Um, and so, usually the night before, I look through my wristbands and everything, know what, know what I'm doing. And for the game, like, day of the game, I just try to relax. Like, I just try to relax because at that point, I, I I usually know what I'm doing. I get some good food in me, and and I'm ready to rock. Yeah. The interesting thing. Uh, what's your favorite part about game day? Favorite part about game day. Um. Probably, probably like moments in the locker room right before, and then running out on the field. Like, obviously, when you're playing, you're playing, and that's awesome. But true, true, like good like high school football moments that you're only going to get during this time is you know being inside the locker room when coaches give us a few minutes by ourselves like like you know get our get ourselves together before we run out there and just that moment and the feeling that you have it can't be replicated and it's it's something special yeah you know a lot of people wonder um another uh, what an athlete does, you know, traveling two games. People wonder what athletes do during that bus ride to pass time. S explain that. Um, so I can kind of take you through my whole game day routine if it's on a Friday. So we got out of school on a Friday, and I'll go get I'll go get some food at you know Jimmy John's or something like that, and then and then I'll. We have a uh, offensive walkthrough like before we get on the bus and then we go to the grotto and then we're on the bus and that's usually a seven o'clock game. I think it's probably around depending on how far the travel is, but I usually try to like take some time to myself. Um, if it's a road game at CC, like at the fields, like just sit there in the stands for a few minutes as much as I can, just, you know, calm myself down, have a time, a little bit of time to reflect and everything, make sure that I'm ready. And then on the bus ride there, just listen to music, look out the window, you know, it, like visualize everything, you know. Uh, I think that's an important part of everything because visualize. I like another thing is kind of weird, but if I'm going to play a road game, I like to like the night before, I'll like look up images of the field I'm going to just to like know the layout and everything just so I'm not like surprised by anything when I get there, you know what I mean? So that's what I do. Yeah. And finally, um, just how how excited are you about this? I mean, this upcoming season. Um, 
it's gonna it's gonna be an interesting one for sure no matter um no matter what it is it's going to be interesting yeah i'm I'm really looking forward to this season especially with everything that's happened uh with coronavirus and everything we started working out this week started seeing people that was awesome and i'm just really looking forward to getting the ball rolling uh after last season a lot of people are counting us out saying you know cc is never going to be the same you know we've been kind of Last season wasn't the greatest, and but I know the guys that we have in that locker room and the attitude that those guys bring every single day. I'm very, very pot, like positive about our team in this season, and it's going to be a great year. All right, Declan, thank you so much, man, and we'll uh, definitely be talking to you later on. Awesome. Thank you.